generation platform that enables LASO graduates to receive their certificates on convocation day, a first among Nigerian IA institutions. In 2016, under its coordination, a team developed the Central Admission Screening app, CASA, which allows applicants to check LASO course requirements, impute SSC and UTME grades, obtain screening aggregates, and track screening processes online. This platform, which also allows provosts, deans, and heads of department to make merit and discretionary admission selections, significantly used manual workload, increased transparency, and saved the university millions of naira and thousands of hours of power. These leadership roles in LASU include serving as director of LIDC 2005 to 2011 and 2012 to 2020. He was head of the Department of Mathematics 2023 to 2024. And from 2024, as Dean of the Faculty of Science, he has been a member of the University Senate, chair the Student Support and Counseling Committee, and directed digital infrastructure and computer-based testing committees. Its vision has remained clear to promote rigorous scholarship, foster institutional innovation, and uphold moral leadership. Beyond, his, beyond LASSO, its impact extends nationally and internationally. He served as technical consultant to the National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria and as visiting professor at Bowen University, Iwo. He has acted as external assessor and external examiner for universities across Nigeria and Ghana, reinforcing academic standards and capacity building in the region. Professor Akonbi is married to Mrs. Adebomi Ebolua Akambi. Together, they have four children. Ladies and gentlemen, today, Mrs. Adebomi Akambi, the 114th inaugural lecturer of our university, stands as a testament to what is when ever meets divine guidance. His story, affirms that beginnings, that beginnings do not dictate endings, that human fallibility can give way to divine infallibility, and that a nation grounded in integrity can reshape institutions and lives. His legacy lives on through his research, his students, his innovations, and his family. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the inaugural lecturer. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. 
Oluwa le abomi ati oni gba ipoju ni tori na ni emi ki o beru bi ati le gba aye ni de ti a sha won ke lani ipo lo sinu okan bi omi re ti le ho ti ma wo bi bere o do lako wa sisun ti o mo ina olorun dun ebi mi ma go woni ti o ga go olorun be laarin ra ki o si ni de oluwa kutukutu owuro awon ke feri mbinu awon le o ba dide o fo won re apelu wa olorun jacob ni abo wa e wa wo ise oluwa oru awuro ti o se ni aye o ma teto de opi aye o se orun o je oko meji o mu keke ojujona e da keje ke sumo pe mi ni olorun a o gbe mi ga ni na awon ke feri a o gbe mi ga ni aye olorun awon mo gun wa pelu wa olorun jacob The Vice Chancellor, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Admin, the Registrar, University of Liberia and Ambassador, the Provost and Deans, distinguished members of Senate, directors and head of department, distinguished colleagues, staff and students of Lagos State University, family and friends. Invited guests, gentlemen and ladies of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. My academic journey has been guided by a deep-seated conviction that mathematics is more than numbers and equations. It is a language through which we come close to understanding the divine structure underlining our universe. Over the years, my work has focused specifically on numerical analysis with particular emphasis on the Rangikuta methods, which are foundational tools in solving complex ordinary differential equations that appear across scientific discipline. As I have labored to reduce computational error and enhance model fidelity, I have become ever more aware of the stark contrast between our human limitations and the perfection of divine logic, the central theme of this lecture. Mathematics evoluted several decades of century back with the work of Pythagoras, Euclid, Archimedes, Newton, Neblites. The word mathematics was coined by Pythagoras who flourished around 500 BC. It meant a subject of instruction, and its first part, math, comes from an old Indo-European rule that is related to the English word mind. Although people thought that Pythagoras group arithmetic, astronomy, and geometry together, however, the work on mathematics has been in existence even before Pythagoras. What is mathematics? It is the door and key to the sciences. It is the science of order and measure. It is the unshaking foundation of science and the plentiful fountain of advantage to human affairs. It is the science which draws necessary conclusions, seems to endow one with something like a new sense. God, the supreme mathematicians, patterns of perfection in human design. The Almighty God, who is supreme, is a mathematician. And for all of you that are seated here, you can see a common observation. A common observation on human being is that the distance between your fingertips, then, I mean, when you stretch your arms, is equal to your height. God created you for every human being on the face of the earth. The length of your forearm, that is from the wrist to elbow, is the size of your shoe. That is this place to this place. Of your hand, of your hand, from, from wrist to wrist to fingertip, fingertip, aim, Aim as a length of your as a length of your face. Your face. The length of your foot is roughly equivalent to the length of your hair from chin to crown. And of the neck is often rough, is often rough, the circum circumference of the wrist. The circumference of the neck is twice that of the wrist, and the circumference of the neck is half of the waist. So if the waist size is W, it is equal to 2 times N, the neck size, and 2 times omega, I mean 4 times omega, the wrist size. So this analogy that I've just presented, for over 8.2 billion people that live in the world, 
you see it exactly the same, whether they are fat, short, tall, or slim. Today, numerical analysis has taken center stage in addressing real world problems that defy exact, simple sol symbolic solution. It emerged as a necessity to bridge the tools, mathematics ideas, and computational realities of modern science and engineering. My area of specialization, the Rajkuta method, is part of this heritage. As I deepen my research and teaching, I found out that the Rajkuta method were not just a set of computational routines, they represented philosophical transition between human approximation and divine precision. Vice Chancellor, sir. My academic journey has been a relentless pursuit within the mathematical sciences, specifically in numerical analysis. The field at its core acknowledges the inherent human fallibility in our attempt to describe the universe through mathematical models. Why the universe in its grand design operates with what one might term divine infallibility. Our mathematical representation and more acutely our computational solution are always approximation. The quest then is to bridge this gap, to minimize our errors, and to strive for computational results that echo, however faintly, the divine precision. Many fields of application, notably chemical engineering and control theory, yield initial value problem, which we can see on the screen. And Ronjikuta method is of this form for searching, solving such a problem. My work has extensively explored and improved Ronjikuta methods, which are celebrated for their self-starting nature. The innovation that I did in Rajikuta method is to create additional time in equation 13. And when used to solve some problem, number one, we have found out that its existence and uniqueness of solution exists. It is accurate and stable, and it converges. The proposed method, which I have just shown to you, is of order four, compared with what Ronj and Kuta developed that were of order two. They were used to solve Kapp's equation in equation 14 and 15, and the result shows from the graphs that the error from the method that I created is very, very low compared with other method. I'm already in the graph, the charts. You can see the error for that of Ranjikuta compared with what I have created that is called multi-derivative explicit Ranjikuta method. All the chart shows that the error are much lesser than that of the traditional methods. What are the diverse application and interdisciplinary research that I have carried out over time? My work extends beyond theoretical numerical analysis into various applied fields, demonstrating how robust computational tools can inform critical decision and deepen our understanding of real world phenomena. Research was conducted on the comparative analysis of university examination, UME, and post me admission models at Lagos State University. The findings were stark. post me is a significant better predictor of student academic performance, both in the first and final year, than UME or O-level result. The first post me in Lagos State University was conducted in 2005 with 30,000 subscribers and an IGR of 16 million naira. I developed the first translator for the optical mark reader sheet that was used to conduct that examination. Although the supplier had told the university that it was going to cost the university 500,000 naira, which is estimated today to the tune of 728 million as of today based on dollar exchange rate. But I eventually developed that software without collecting a dime from the university. <laughs> later on, later on, that very software grew and became the directorate of test and administration. Several people that headed that directorate are seated in this auditorium today. In my quest also to, con to conceptualize, to solve difficulty in New Africa Secondary School mathematical curriculum, I had earlier in my early journey of life joined the uh, research group, STEC, of Professor 
the same which was Peter Okebukola, who is present in this hall today, who has established us in a very profound cultural, techno, contextual approach to teaching and learning, the CTCA. And that has helped me in furthering my engagement as far as engagement with students is concerned. Other diverse application and interdisciplinary research. In summary, my work has been dedicated to advancing the landscape of numerical methods, making them more accurate, stable, and efficient for a wide array of initial problems. Working in numerical analysis means living with uncertainty. As I push deeper into this field, I realize that no matters may be, they remain approximation. Their attempt, sometimes very good ones, are discovered reality that is far richer and more nuanced than any equation can capture. Yet in these struggles, I have often for clarity that all human knowledge, no matter how rigorous, is an echo of some, a shadow of divine completeness. These challenges do not discourage me. In Instead, they keep me grounded in humility and drive me toward continued innovation. Human fallibility versus divine infallibility. The fall of man at the first, as the first computational analogy of divergence, it happened in the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is presented as the first model of error propagation, a, mod, a moral and systemic divergence from divine instruction. Just as small numerical instability can cause divergence in computational system, Adam and Eve disobedience introduced instability into creation. <laughs> Drawing from my research on steep differential system, a parallel human scene with error amplification in unstable models underscoring that both require special corrective strategies and grace-based stabilization. If you remember that some years back, the United States said there was a weapon of mass destruction in, in, in Iraq, but 10 years anniversary of that WMD, it was said that there was actually no weapon of mass destruction. There are other Things like evolution of atomic theory, cold fusion, radiocarbon dating errors, humanity's understanding has continual epistemic fragility. At a point, they said that the world was flat. Later, it was confirmed that it is not flat. Somebody said it was round. Later, it was said not round, but it is spherical. This prelude established the philosophical foundation for contrasting the approximate uncertain nature of human inquiry with the flawless certainty of divine wisdom. Human assumptions, approximation, and the limit of knowledge. Every mathematical model depends on assumption, continuity, linearity, differentiability, and hence remain fallible. My innovations. Rajukutanistrom exponentially fitted and trigonometrically fitted method exemplified humanity's struggle to refine its tools and feed truth more closely. Yet, all such methods retain residual errors. Human computation is an act of approximation, never of omniscience, a reflection of our final graphs of divine perfection. Divine invaluability, truth without 